it's lit. Sorry, no, I had to say a Travis Scott ad lib getting into the Travis Scott mochas. Straight up fire video out for you guys. I do this for every Travis Scott video now, and I know you guys have to think it's the cringiest thing ever, but we have a straight up La Flame video for you guys today. Brought to you by High Foot. Thank you to them for giving me the opportunity to review these shoes for the channel. I've reviewed Travis Scott's in the past, but that has been a few years ago. My quality's gone up in my videos. My confidence has gone up in these videos. So many things have changed. So thank you, High Foot, for giving me another opportunity to review some of the original shoes I've reviewed on my channel. So if this video did help you guys out, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. Um, if you guys would like to check out these shoes for yourself, go ahead and check High Foot out in the pinned comment in the comment section down below. It helps support the channel as well. And with all that being said, let's jump into this video. So let's go ahead and open up the lid and then that's attached, but let's just go ahead and leave it off and I'll show you them here like this. These are the quote unquote excuses that I always call them. We'll go ahead and get to these excuses in a second. Let's sit them over to the side. The little Nike card that comes in all of the shoe boxes, pretty much ever, at least it should in all of the Nike boxes. And let's go through the paper and here they are. Now, first off, I'm already quite impressed by the quality of these. Um, suede is great. Now, I have a pair of LJR 1.0 Travis Scott's from 2020, so I'm very much basing it off of the 2020 edition. And like, look at that buttery smooth suede. Also, my pair is two years old, so you know, suede naturally kind of breaks down after two years, so. Very much better quality though. They are newer. So let's go ahead and set the box aside and we'll take a look at these shoes. That's sweet. I just feel it. It just feels better than mine from right now. So all around, honestly, these things are, I could already, already tell you these are better than the ones that I've already owned. Um, but just feeling the suede, just touching it. It's like, look at that. You, you can even see it from this far. I don't even have to get up close. Very, very good version of the Travis Scott mochas already, I can tell you that much. So I'm going to go ahead and lace these up with the black laces because they're already on the shoe. So I'm going to go ahead and finish lacing them up with the black laces. Then we'll go ahead and get into the rest of the review video.
so here the Travis Scotts are in all of their glory. Now, I don't know about you guys, but at one time these were one of my grail shoes. So I know a lot of you guys have to have this as your grail shoe as well. Now, first off, we're gonna talk about the colors. Now, the colors aren't doing themselves any justice over a video as this looks a little of a yellower tone, but in person, I can definitely assure you that that is a sale color. Same with the rest of the shoe, it looks way lighter in person, especially due to my lighting, but it is an actual mocha color, so don't worry about that as well. But let's go ahead and start getting into the shoe's sort of design first. And first we can say, look at that suede, how it just moves, it's just so buttery. You can see it around that corner, how it just moves. Perfect suede, amazing quality suede. So next, all of the stitching in the front of the toe box looks great, going around to this side. All of the holes in the top look great. Now, all of the stitching going around the side of the shoe looks great, going up. And then the swoosh, because that's what everyone looks at with the Travis Scott's, the backward swoosh. No fraying, no stitching problems, anything like that, just a perfect swoosh. Then we have the Air Jordan on the tongue looking beautiful as always, with all the stitching going around the top looking great. Then going to the back of the shoe with the little sad face, all of that suede just beautiful over here, with all of the lines at the top looking great. Going over to the sock liner, if you guys didn't know this is a Velcro pocket. Um, over here on this side, all of the stitching looks beautiful going up and around, up and around over here. Also the hourglass on the back looks great if you guys didn't know about the hourglass with a U. The swoosh is no, with no fraying, perfectly stitched, placed in its proper position with the cactus jack being noticeable on this side if you're looking down towards the ground. Um, so all of the stitching going around to this side of the shoe looks great as well, just like on the other side. And then the Nike Air on the tongue fitted perfectly and properly on there, as well as over here it's saying Cactus Jack properly. Now, I don't know if you guys care about the bottoms, but here is the bottoms of the shoe. So next, let's go over to the left side of the shoe. And then let's start at this front toe box and let's first off just appreciate that suede again, beautiful suede. Then going around the shoe, all of the stitching looks great going all around it. And then all of the holes on the top look beautiful also with a little bit of fraying right here, but that's about it. But all the stitching looks great going up and around here. The swoosh, the backward swoosh looks great, no imperfections on that. Then we have a beautiful Air Jordan Jumpman tag on the top right there with all of the stitching around it looking great. So then going to the back, beautiful suede again, all around. I would still hit it with a suede brush to get sort of all that dusty pieces off, but just beautiful suede nonetheless. Great hourglass on the back. It's just kind of pulled in a little bit because of the way I lace my shoes. It's just how I lace them. But then a the U looks great. And then going over here, all the stitching on this top piece looks perfect. Going all the way down, all the stitching on the swoosh looks great with that cactus jack. All the stitching going around to this side of the shoe looks great. And then again with the color, it's just a little off because of the camera. There's the bottoms. And then the Nike Air on the tongue with the Cactus Jack over there. So all around an amazing pair of Travis Scott Jordan 1 mochas. I highly recommend these. Um, they LJR has gone a long way since I've purchased my pair in the past. So amazing job here from High Foot. As always, love working with High Foot. They have great quality products, as you can see here. But let's go ahead and get in the next clip. Let's talk about the sales memos there, the excuses as I like to call them. And then we'll talk a little bit more about High Foot as a company. All right, so if you guys are wondering what these are and why I keep calling them excuses, that is because these are Nike sales memos right here. 
these are all of the little things to make it look like you legitimately purchased this from a Nike store in Hong Kong, as well as it has the smaller receipt right there. And then the union pay receipt right there that has both sides right there. Now, I know what some of you guys are saying. Well, how is this legit? You know, I've never been to Hong Kong. My friends know I've never been to Hong Kong, all of that stuff. Well, what you need to tell them is that you purchased this pair of shoes from someone that purchased them in Hong Kong. And that was the original receipt to prove its authenticity. And then boom, there you go. So yeah, that is what those excuses are. And I highly recommend those for especially people that are new to the um, industry here and are a little worried about getting in to this industry, especially with shoes like this. I'm aware that it might be hard uh, to jump into this type of shoes when you want to purchase something so expensive like the Travis Scott Mochas. However, that is a little bridge to help you get up to the um, confidence of wearing these shoes. And I know where you guys are coming from there. The Travis Scott Mochas were my first pair of shoes like this. And so I get that feeling of worry, like, oh, is someone gonna call me out and all that? But trust me, I, now I have like at almost 100 pairs of shoes in my collection. I'm not worried at all. And if someone does, Quite frankly, I say, yeah, they are. Um, I make I make videos on them, so I don't really care myself, but I get how you guys would care, and that is 100% what these receipts are there to do, is to make you guys feel better about your, uh, about your worries, I should say. All right, so now let's talk a little bit more about High Foot and High Foot as a company, because I've worked with High Foot so many times on this channel. Long-term subscribers know how long I've worked with High Foot. Since I've hit about a thousand subscribers, I've been working with High Foot actually. So they have been around for a long time on the channel. So I 100% recommend them hands down just solely because of how long I've worked with them. I know that they are a legitimate good company because of that. So getting into more of details besides just me approving them. If you guys would like to see more High Foot reviews and unboxings, go ahead and check out my old ones on the channel. Just search High Foot on my channel and you guys will find all of those unboxings on the channel. However, if you guys would like to see more of them in the future, go ahead and check them out. We'll get to that part of the video in just a second. Let's continue this part. I'm getting ahead of myself. So starting off with High Foot shipping options, these were shipped through FedEx Express, fast shipping of around two weeks time. So you guys know that you'll get your shoes fast through FedEx. So it, I personally prefer FedEx over multiple other shipping platforms. So get, getting them through FedEx is a very big bonus in my opinion. Then comes customer service. Working with High Foot, they have tremendous customer service. I have always said that about them and I will continue to say that about them. They have amazing customer service. So if you guys are looking for a place that you guys know that you'll be served with a smile, High Foot has you covered there as well as a standard website across the .ru platforms, but that's not a bad thing, especially if you're new to this industry and you guys will know how to use their website. Regardless, it's very self-explanatory. But with all of that being said, I highly recommend Highfoot, and I would like to thank Highfoot from the bottom of my heart for continuously sponsoring the channel from day one. They were one of my first sponsors, and to continue working with them to this day is a big thing for me, and I really appreciate them for that. And stay tuned for more High Foot videos coming out in the near future. Uh, if you, this video did help you guys out, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. If you guys would like to see more High Foot reviews and all of that stuff, go ahead and check them out in the pinned comment in the comment section down below, as that shows them that you guys like buying from them, or you guys like buying from them from my channel, and that helps me out and helps them out. So go check them out, buy from High Foot, use my discount code, and yeah. Um, go ahead and follow my Instagram, TikTok, all of that fun stuff. I post daily on TikTok as well. So if you guys would like daily videos on YouTube and TikTok, go ahead and check me out over on TikTok. As well as join my Discord if you would like us to authenticate your shoes from High Foot or anywhere else. But with all that being said, thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed. Editor Spencer here. I also want to let you guys know it comes with all of the lace colors as well. Pink, white. Um, red and brown. I just wanted to let you guys know that before you guys go ahead and comment that down below. It does come with all lace colors.